didn't you have some other like brief stints with WWE? Like a few like <laughs> like you worked as an extra. Was it twice? I I have to say, um, I I'm I'm a seven or eight time rosebud at this point. Oh, is that seven many times? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because there were the there were the house shows as well. Okay. So but if we slow down a video, can we see you in a rosebud entrance? You can see me a couple times. Um, so. I, there's one where uh, Jack Swagger grabs me and I'm wearing like this pink suit and I'm like, and um, there was a meme going about when it was like me then and me now. And uh, we had a, a, had those two photos back to back because I wrestled him in what culture and he grabs me like this to pay back to that. Nice. So that, that was pretty funny. Nice. But I was actually uh, Rusev and Lana's lawyer at one point as well, which was crazy because if you think about how few people get mic time on, on Raw and SmackDown, yeah. I cut a 90 second promo as their lawyer on on i think it was smackdown in liverpool how'd that even happen so there were um <laughs> so it is quite a funny story so what i didn't know is two people had been specifically hired to be brought in to be to do this role specifically hired i didn't know this and william regal had told us um that when you are asked if you can do something you know be the one that steps up mm -hmm. so when he said um someone backstage came up to me and said something about like oh remember the the red ties and i was like the red ties so i went to you know some clothes shop and bought red ties what happened was whoever that was backstage i, I think it was one of the referees I, I, but they'd got the wrong person so they told me to go get red ties and it wasn't me so i brought the red ties and i said to someone what, what are the red ties for and they were like oh it's a uh, rusev's lawyers and i was like oh cool so someone goes where's uh, my lawyers at and i went so some poor dude that had been hired to do it specifically <laughs> yeah. oh, is wow. sitting behind me he had to shave his head for it and everything right <laughs> so he's got prepared and i just went like this and <laughs> so they asked me to come forward and they said um so it was me and it was me and Lionheart actually, who is very sadly passed away. Um, again, someone who gave a lot to um especially Scottish professional wrestling. Um Piper Niven actually had um I think it was like an armband with his symbol on it. So um, you know, that was really cool that she did that. But um it was me and 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 Adrian. And um they said, here's this promo, and you're both gonna read it out and we're gonna pick one. And I remember at the time, this this was really cool because um, me and Adrian were close, and so for both of us to get this moment on on TV, it was it was very cool, um, and I'm glad that we got to do that. And um, but they said to me, "Can you do a Russian accent?" And I was like, and I remember Stone Cold saying about the forklift truck, it was like, "Can you drive a forklift?" He was like, "Yeah, just say yes." <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, of course I can." And I'm like looking up like russian accents trying to get the and my russian accent was horrible but they said we're you, go read out the promo we're going to let a couple people do it and we're going to pick one and i knew in my heart i was like the the, the thing was this long mm. it was like a lot and i thought if i memorize this word for word they'll just pick me mm. if i don't use the sheet and so they um we went in the ring there were a, like i say a bunch of different people who were going to try out for it I read it out once without the sheet and they went him <laughs> and then nobody else got the chance to do it so that's how that came to be there's just so many lessons from this entire conversation but it's like it's the belief in yourself it's always say yes <laughs> even if you probably aren't the right person always say yes sure i can do a russian accent i can drive a forklift it's also this like I love how you keep saying like you had, you you just knew it was gonna happen like this just this belief that like maybe you had lived that before or something, but I I can really relate to you on that. Can I add one thing to it? Absolutely. If you don't mind? I think the other thing that people need to realize is that don't think I'm not terrified when this stuff's happening. Don't think I'm not going. Oh, like I've got to say all this in a Russian accent. That are I can't tell you how nervous I was before that concert. I knew I couldn't show it. But anyone at TNA will tell you I was freaking out mm -hmm. because like I hadn't played guitar in like however long. But sometimes you just have to go out there and you just have to get the business done. It doesn't matter how how you feel. And I think to me, I'm sure you'll appreciate this. It sounds like we read similar books, but courage is not not being afraid. Mm -hmm. It's being afraid and having nerves and going out there and giving it your best anyway. Yes. That's that's what this game is. 
it's about just going you know what have if you've prepared like as best you can if you go out there and you give it everything that you've got then that is that's all you can do 